if you can see over yonder some of the tracks going across the fields I've been busy busy clearing land for the farmer who rents my land so he can get more efficient use for the money he pays more acreage for the same dollar over the years many trees grew along both fence lines hardwoods and thorn trees and shit like that and some of them grew out in the field pretty far and the farmer just kept plowing around them plowing around them wasting land so for all the smaller trees and stuff like that I just put a chain around them and use the front bucket because it lifts 3,500 pounds and rip them out bundle them up and just pile them off to this where we never drive and stuff like that but the really big stumps like the ones that take me a half a day to get out I've got to use the monster the beast in combination with the backhoe because you have to dig up all around the roots first and sever them all and then you've got to chain it, chain it or just ram into it in high speed or slow speed and just keep working those stumps back and forth in all directions to get them out I'll show you what I mean well I have been doing a lot of leaf raking and putting things away at home and at the farm and preparing for winter but everything else is fine I feel good and I feel healthy last year at this time I had a liver disease well an infection and I almost died well there's the biggest stump I got out and that's the biggest one of my whole life that thing took about five or six hours with both my big pieces of equipment I think it weighs about six tons because I chained up around it and tried to carry it with my do do dozer put it around the front, front blade the dozer did like a reverse wheelie so I had to tip it over and push it up there it's got a huge chunk of dirt and it took my backhoe eight yards of dirt I had to haul and fill in the hole that it came out of there's a bunch of the lumber debris and rocks to clear the land. And as you can see, the farmer already came and plowed an extra big swath all the way around the perimeter of the farm and got about 15 more feet of extra free land, well, that he was kind of paying for, but wasn't actually clear anymore. So he's done that all around the property, all around the fence lines. And by my guesstimate, I've given him an acre and a half so that might earn him another $1,500 a year income when he's growing his crops. I haven't really been doing anything exciting. This time of year, it's been too muddy to do much. Sure, the crops are off, we can go driving in them, but when we did try that, we couldn't get more to, than 60 to 80 kilometers per an hour, and so it was so slow, it was no fun. I also spent a couple weeks raking leaves for two to three hours a day at my home, as I have eight huge maple trees around my house, so that was such a nuisance. Well, do something. Well, there he goes to get warm. He's a little wary because he knows I'm watching him. You've heard of hot dog. This is hot hog. He'll flop right out so his belly's all over the warm concrete and stick his hands out the side. It looks so funny, but he's not quite doing it all the way right now. I wonder if anybody else has a video anywhere in the world of a fat groundhog keeping warm in November underneath a hot wood stove. <laughs> You're so sweet, you fat ass. I'll show you a shot on my computer screen. I use it as my background. There he is in all his glory. <laughs> Sitting down, you can see his belly is losing its fur because it's so big it rubs on the ground when he's walking around and he's so fat when he sits down his feet go out sideways 